Fucked and drank all night Acted all alright Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight guys so as you can see I've got the back of the car jacked up and I'm uh, about to start taking out the rear axle as you can see the rear brakes although they have been sitting for a while were also were not really doing a lot and that was due to a kink in the brake line which I found uh, while taking the car apart it's actually got relatively new Land Rover springs uh, TD5 springs and also new relatively new shocks so I think I'm gonna give them a bit of a refurb and then sell them on but obviously they're getting replaced with the progressive uh, Springs from Springcore Limited and the Bill Steins. Uh, the axle is going to be fully rebuilt with uh, the differential that's down on the floor down there, uh, which is a limited slip uh, Ashcroft version. And then it's going to get heavy duty Raptor shafts, new bearings, and uh, new seals all around. So, as you can see under there, I've uh, managed to cut the A-frame um, bolts using the reciprocating saw. Only destroyed one blade in the process, so that's pretty good. Um, now most of the, the axle's free and ready to come out. All I have to do is release the trailing arms on the bit, one big bolt under there, and that requires the big old farmer set, the one inch socket set. Once those are undone, I'll be able to pull the axle out, finally re fully remove the trailing arms, and uh, then I've got to clear the, the bench um, of the uh, lower dashboard, and uh, we're gonna rebuild the rear axle with all the component parts and get it back to a rolling chassis. Then after that, finally at long last, we can crack on with getting the engine, gearbox, and transfer box all installed. So as you can see, we've got the uh, stub axles on the uh, the, uh, the pe freshly painted rear axle for the landing. Um, also, I've fixed my dad's little cock up when taking out the uh, diff retaining uh, nuts. He basically rounded them off and got them all spinning in the housing. Uh, they're this kind of style nut that uh, that kind of push into the metal and lock themselves in place. He managed to round them off. Uh, this one luckily went back on and wound up with the uh, impact gun and is firmly in place. But sadly, this one here, um, I had to weld into place and then just grind back down. Not sure if you can see it nicely on camera, but yeah, I've ground that down. So that's not gonna catch on anything. That should all be fine. But that's securely held, holding the bolt in place now. So uh, we can fit the limited slip rear axle, uh, sorry, rear diff to the, uh, the axle and uh, crack on with the build.
So as you can see, uh, we've got the rear axle fully assembled on the bench with the trailing arms fitted. Um, next up, we're gonna fit it under the car where we've uh, already installed the A-frame, uh, which will then attach to the axle. Um, and then, yeah, should, that should be allow us to tighten everything up. Should all go in. Will be a bit of a flap as they're notoriously difficult to put in, but uh, yeah, then we'll have a rolling chassis and uh, we can start to focus on my next job. I want to test the electric electrics. So as you can see, I've sounded in the battery box and got the battery back in. Um, actually, I found out one of the batteries was knackered. So I'm gonna be replacing that. Um, I'm then gonna wire it in, see what's working, see what's not working. Address that while it's nice and easy with the lower dash out. And uh, the, then from then on, we'll start to fit the um, engine transfer box and gearbox back together and then then into the car um, as you can see the engine is the back of it's currently stripped down I ordered a new rear main seal from uh, Germany which I'm gonna fit and I'll show that in the video I've also got to get the release bearing out of there um, which is gonna be a bit of a nightmare as I don't have a release bearing puller so I'm not sure, I may go borrow one of those, we'll see how I get on. And uh, then we can start to fit the adapter plate, which is down there, or helicoil with the starter motor, and uh, mate it to the gearbox. Also on the gearbox, there's a bit of work that needs to be done, we need to replace the pivot ball for the one provided in Synchro Gearbox's kit. Chop, I believe it's 10 mil off of this, um, which I'll also, I'll confirm later on. But uh, yeah, and generally I'm just gonna give the inside of the gearbox a good clean up. As you can see, it's a bit dusty, a bit dirty, uh, and we want it nice and clean before we install it. So yeah, 